Who are you to judge? Do you know my mindset's tone? About my past and my future business, especially how I get home. See, I know eternity doesn't have a curfew, but does my outward appearance really determine which side I belong? I mean, do you really think that you can serve his works, praise, dance, and gossip and singing Christian songs? Mm, girl, look at her. We clap our hands in the sanctuary. Stop, you're wrong. I mean, the only person here that you should be concerned about is quite frankly your own. I mean, do you really think us teens want to hear how we're not dressed right? Or do you really think those young women want to get those looks like, mm, where has she been last night? And if we're really coming here to worship God, why is it relevant that her pants are too tight? And do you really think that one person that has slight bit of thug and then wants to get those faces like when he says to his friend, meet me at my crib, all right? Or should that suburban chick that acts a little hood get disliked because she's white? Or should we just say, oh, you're a hypocrite because your walk with God can't be spotted inside of sight? So you bash someone else's spiritual temptations by throwing them into the light. Remember, shunning someone else's love for God won't magically make yours bright. It's a cycle. We sin, we go through, we repent, he saves, but I mean verbal abuse, we take that to the grave. So instead, you whisper a mark just to go along with the wave. But God is yelling at you, my child, behave. I mean, men spat in his face and he replied, God loves you. I bet we can't even begin to explain. I mean, church is for healing, yet we're getting ridiculed and awarded for church's hall of shame. I mean, something's not in the right being. I mean, isn't there a nicer way to say, mm, honey, you're not doing the right thing? I mean, it floats his streams, it pollutes his screams, the victim will cry, but you'll never know what it means. Pain. See, to you, she's a hood rat, but she goes home every night, tears dripping from her face, praying to her king. See, to you, she's something like a demon, but see, to him, she is just his club. I'm on this ministry. Oh, I'm on the choir. And I praise dance every fourth Sunday. But who cares if it's not for the works of God? Amen. Don't you know saving that one hurtful remark, you could be saving somebody from jumping off the ledge. Or just sit them down one on one and try to deliver the mess edge. Be like 2 Samuel 23 and 2, Job 24 and 4, Proverbs 11 and 13, and Romans 3 and 13. Their throats are like open graves, and their tongues practice deceit, and the poison of viper is on their lips when they, <clears throat> excuse me, don't practice what they preach. All right. Don't expect anyone or anything to be perfect, because the one thing we had in the world that was, we killed him. And we still are, defying his wounds and making him remember each and every bruise. With every sin and every time, the church talks. Thank you. Tells me I'm a child of God. Amen. Even though what I tell myself sometimes, I'm still a child of God. Amen. Even when somebody tells me something, I'm still a child of God. Amen. Even when I feel bad and I fall on my face, I'm still a child of God. Amen. Because positionally, God sees me as holy. Amen. 